it seems to me like it just does one of them no matter which direction I flick the Wiimote in or whatever, but whatever. And if you do it in time, you will kill the person. If not, you'll be discovered. And that works exactly the same as if you are just spotted outside of cover, whatever. If you're spotted and you have a sword, you can fight. And if you win, the guard will of course die. And if you don't, you may lose one of the swords. I think you can carry ten at a time. And if you lose, or you don't have a sword at all, you'll just teleport back to the start of that section. And you won't even lose your progress. There's no alarm. Absolutely nothing comes of it. Uh, Joe? What is it, Bob? I, um... I, I chased a ninja away before. I didn't kill him. Should we tell someone? Maybe try to rally all the guards in the area? Do an extensive search? Tell the guy who runs this place that maybe be on the lookout? Nah. We kind of suck at our jobs, don't we? Yeah. Ah, but your ninja honor will be tarnished, as the manual puts it. I don't give a crap. I tired of this pretty darn quickly, and the fact that it doesn't even try to challenge me properly... I mean, there are portions of this game which are relatively difficult, but you can basically just throw yourself out into it and gradually progress through each section. It will affect absolutely nothing other than your rank. You can only carry three different types of items at a time, and all have a certain limited use. Some of them you can pick up more uses, like with the two throwing items, the shuriken, or throwing stars, and there's also this knife that you can also throw. And don't ask me what the difference is between throwing star and throwing knife, other than that maybe you can carry more knives, I think that's it. Oh, and don't get your hopes up, you can't kill just anyone with them, no matter how many you use. Unless an enemy is standing right over a well, a pond, with his back to some fire, or the target is a ninja that is just hiding, regardless of what they'll fall into or where they'll land or whatever, you can't kill anyone with these. You can only distract them. The throwing system isn't bad, and you don't really take aim as much as you just align the crosshairs so that they're pointing directly at the enemy because the game will tell you if you're going to be hitting what you're aiming. Basically to throw you flick the Wii mode forward. For some reason it's also the same for jumping from beam to beam up above you know near the ceiling and yet not when swinging and jumping from bar like object to bar like object. Instead, there, you just press A a bunch of times. Did they forget that they were working with the Wii console? I mean, you kind of have to wind up. And that would have been really cool if you had to use the Wii mode and or the nunchuck. The way it is, is just awkward. And so are the movement controls and a couple of other things in this game. When you kill someone, you can pick up and carry off their body, either to hide it somewhere, or if you want to do an Asian remake of Weekend at Bernie's. You usually move slowly in this game, often too slowly. You can fortunately run. And the running jump is also the only jump in this that is even worth mentioning. The regular jump is quite possibly the worst and least useful I've come upon in any video game ever. And I wish that was hyperbole. Normally, you only turn if you go left or right on the control stick. You can strafe, but you strafe on the same button as you run on, the B button. So if you time it slightly incorrectly, you'll wind up running instead of strafing. A couple of points you have to get a running start to a jump. This is just way more awkward than it needs to be. Anyway, items. Sometimes you may not be able to get to an item on your own. If it's fairly close by, you can use, I kid you not, a fishing rod. This supposedly also has some use against the guards, but I could never do anything more than irritate them with it. 
another thing to pick up items without going all the way over there on your own. Keeping in mind that all the way over there might be monitored by guards that you can't currently take out is the Shinobi Cat, which you get to control once you activate it. You can basically move it anywhere, though I don't think it can jump. And it can pick up one item in its mouth, and you can then steer it back to where you are still standing, make it drop it, and then deactivate the cat. When you pick up the cat, I think it says like 10 uses, but I've only ever gotten one use out of it. I don't know how it counts those. You can only carry three items at a time, so you have to choose carefully. You can get smoke bombs as well, which are good if you're going up against an entire room, and there's also a, a genuine explosive, which can be used to kill one person, or set off some explosives, or blow a hole in a wall. And you only find fairly few of these in the game. Sometimes you'll have to find a key. Swords can also be used to break locks, but this will of course also harm the sword. And you have this bamboo tube that you can use to swim stealthily underwater. You can swim even if you don't have one, but you won't be entirely hidden. Why don't more games have the bamboo tube? It's been a part of pop culture for like decades. When I first read about it in the manual, I thought that it was going to be just, you know, the typical, just straight, regular bamboo tube. But it really is a pump in this game. The reason for that is that you can also use it to pump water through the air, not a far distance, onto a burning flame in a lit torch, for example. That and just plain blowing out candles are the two ways to make more shadows in this game. And this is another place where it's stylized, because when you make shadows, there's like an explosion of dark feathers. That also happens when you teleport back to the start of the section. The title Tenchu, by the way, apparently means Wrath of Heaven. And since you spend almost the entire game sneaking around and killing people, I guess that's what that's supposed to refer to. That must mean that the Great Beyond has really learned subtlety. You are, by the way, encouraged to kill everyone. That gets you the best rating. Even if they're your own people, at an early point you sneak into your own castle and kill every guard you come upon. You can do a sort of dash that I think is meant to take you from cover to cover, but honestly it doesn't always work. Sometimes it will, without warning you that it's gonna do this, take you right out into the light and you might be spotted. If an enemy starts to spot you, you may be allowed to shake the Wiimote from side to side and you'll do a quick backflip backwards and sometimes into cover if you just got out of cover. But this won't always help you. Sometimes you're being spotted from behind and it just makes things worse. You go to a few different environments, rural areas, fortresses, and in some of them it'll just be dark, in others it'll rain. Maybe there'll even be lightning strikes which rob you of the darkness. Something that is really nice in this is that the Wiimote will sort of rumble when an enemy is looking at you or very near you. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be spotted. I mean, you realize this almost instantly. But it is telling you, you can't necessarily see it but someone is looking at you or is very close to you, so be careful. The sound isn't bad. The score is nice enough. I think one of the tracks actually so start out sounding like an Asian instrumental version of the Mission Impossible theme, but maybe that. A couple of the items and moves are introduced, but you hardly ever use them. I'm looking at you, Shinobi Cat and Corner Perch. Yes, Corner Perch. You can actually jump up and balance yourself in a corner. Wait for the enemy to come close enough and jump down onto them and kill them. But you hardly ever get to use this. You can wall hug and peek around walls. I don't know why it offers you to jump out when you peek around walls because it's never useful. 
you'll be noticed if anyone is looking in the direction and it isn't that much faster than just canceling the wall hug and walking there. 